A train was allegedly set on fire by railway job aspirants who were protesting against the selection process of the railway's recruitment exam. Now, this happened on a day the country was celebrating the 73rd Republic Day. The angry protesters vandalized trains and pelted stones. The railways has now decided to suspend its non-technical popular categories and level 1 tests after several incidents of violence were reported. Now, this protest and violence that I'm talking about against the Ministry of Railways recruitment process has been centered around two states, Bihar and pole-bound Uttar Pradesh. Now, these two states account for a majority or a bulk of the candidates who appeared for the common test for the non-technical popular categories posts. Students have opposed a decision by the railways to hold the examination in two stages, claiming that the second stage is unfair to those who have cleared the first stage, results for which were released on 15th of January. Nearly 1.25 crore candidates had applied for the exams that had advertised more than 35,000 posts with starting pay ranging from 19,900 rupees per month. Around 60 lakh people appeared for the exam. Now, the protesters claim that only one examination was mentioned in a notification that was issued in 2019 and they've accused the government of playing with their future. The Railways Ministry, however, says that the second stage exam was clearly mentioned in the notification. Protesters torched four empty coaches of a stationary train in Bihar's Gaya and blocked rail traffic between Gaya and Jehanabad on Wednesday. Protests were also held in Patna, Bhagalpur and several other parts of the state. In Jehanabad town, angry students and protesters burned down an effigy of Prime Minister Narendra Modi on railway tracks and raised slogans against the central government. The agitation has affected several sections of the East Central Railway Zone and hit more than 25 trains, causing inconvenience to several passengers. Several trains had also been diverted due to the same reason. Angry protesters blocked railway tracks, clashed with the security forces, the police and vandalised railway property on multiple locations. In Sita Mari, police fired into the air to disperse angry demonstrators and protesters at the railway station. Now, similar incidents were also reported in Uttar Pradesh as well. A group of students allegedly tried to stop a train in Prayagraj on Tuesday, following which at least three policemen were suspended. A case was also lodged against three named and 1,000 unidentified protesters for rioting and stone throwing. Meanwhile, some visuals have also surfaced from Prayagraj, where policemen can be seen entering the rooms of students by breaking down their doors and beating them up. Prayagraj SSP Ajay Kumar said that the policemen had been suspended and would face departmental action for using unnecessary force against the students. The Ministry of Railways has said that the protest videos will now be examined with the help of specialised agencies. Those found indulging in any sort of the mentioned activities will be penalised accordingly. Now, amid rising protests and incidents of violence across two states, the Railways Ministry issued a statement warning candidates of being debarred for life from jobs in the railways. The government has suspended the exam and set up a five-member committee to address the grievances and concerns of the protesting candidates. Railway Minister Ashwini Vaishnav has appealed to the students and the candidates to not break the law and assured them that their concerns would be seriously addressed. The incident has also garnered major political reactions. Congress leaders Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi Vadra have condemned the incident and the repression of candidates. Rahul Gandhi took to Twitter and said that he was with the students against the policies of the BJP government and urged the protesters to shun violence and appealed to them to adopt non-violent methods to press for their demands.